Back out on another bottle dig. Um, unfortunately, Tony got a puncher on way here, so he had to turn back. So, unlucky, Tony. See you on the next dig. Um, I'd like to apologise for last week's video. I did put one up. I got a couple of good finds. Um, I came home from work one about a day, day after, a couple of days after maybe. Um, I think there were about 37 people what watched the video, um, commented. Me like a dim bat, I was tired, come on from work, deleted it by accident. Proper ding bat, I was gutted, all footage, gone. Um, so yeah, considering I found you know, a nice stoneware and a coffin shaped poison bottle. Yeah, I was gutted, all footage went, but you know, it's one of them. I made the mistake, deleted it, move on in it. Um, but I will put a couple of pictures up of the them two finds right guys just started digging uh, first find an Optrex, Optrex bottle uh, a nice aqua blue Bovril right look at the size of that little perfume bottle Labels knackered, but look at the size of it. Check that out. Little poison, not to be taken blue. Buzzing. God, I've only just started. I've only been here like, say, 15 minutes. Right, come across a nice little stopper here. Check that out. Lovely little stopper. No chips or cracks are out. Oh, I'm happy with that. I'm guessing that's where you dyed your cig out, maybe. In top of there. Guys, I've just come across a small bottle. Still got its tablets in. Check it out. Still got its tablets in. Little cork top. And then I found this. Little tin. Let's see what it is. Well guys, I've just cleaned it a little bit more, um, it seems to be a first aid dressing, tin, um, that's in pretty good condition considering, so I might clean that up, take it home. Guys, I've come across this very unusual bottle, uh, like a, something like a science bottle. Uh, really unusual. Yeah, it's got a cork cork top in there. That looks as if it had. I, mean, I, I don't know. I've never ever ever seen one of them before. So, wouldn't have a clue. If you just look in there, it seems to be a rib bottle. Ah, oh, buzzing. Look at that. Uh, it's not got, it ain't got not to be taken on it, but it's ribbed. It's got a label on it. Let's see what it says. It says poison there at the top. Right, come across this little round bottle. Disprin bottle with label still on it. Excellent. Got a bit of a caving coming in here. I'll just go. There we go. Boom. We got out in there. Oh, hello. Hello. Looks like we've got a milk of magnesia. Excellent. There you go. A bit of blue. Right, uh, guys, I've just pulled this out. It seems to be all intact. It had some sort of dry cream inside there. I've just, just broke it all out. But it seems to be intact. It's got a right little symbol underneath. And it seems to have a crown on it, but it's that blurry. I cannot make it out whatsoever. 
So that's a shame, but it's intact, so I'll take that. Nice little design on it, little rose design. Right, guys, guess what that is? That's a World War II civilian's respirator, all rusted up. Found a couple, quite a few of these now on this tip. Guys, I've just picked this up, uh, and at first I thought it was a purple ribbed bottle. It's not. It's just dye inside. Uh, tried tricking me, didn't it? Just pull this one out. Parkinson's Burnley. I'm gutted about that. It's broken on top there. What a shame. A little chip there. But look at that. That would have been nice if it were whole. A few cra cracks in it like. What's that say under there? Right, check that out. Uh, cherry Blossom boot polish. Black. Uh, I'm going to see if I can clean that up when I get home. Back's a bit knackered like, a little bit of an hole there, but I'll see what I can do. Well, look at that, what's broken. That's a shame, isn't it? Uh, Pleasant from Skegness. Guys, I'm going to have a go in this direction. Because look what's just popped out. Oh yes. A green poison. Buzzing. That's two poisons today. Well, three. Including the see-through hectagon one. Buzzing with that. A little inkwell popped out. And check that out. A little, Another little poison. With cork in it. Right, I've just pulled out a, a vintage Demestos bottle. They're quite nice and decorative, nicely embossed. Right, I've just come across a uh, Avino's brand light cough mixture, or cough cure, on one of them. There's two bottles like this. There's one says cough mixture, this one says cough cure. Um, I don't know if one's older than the other, but they did change it at one point. Right, uh, I've come across this uh, nicely cut glass. Uh, I think it's some sort of lid for something. Um, I know they used to have like butter dishes, didn't they? Uh, maybe it had a, a glass platform where you put your butter on and then that over the top. Right, check that out. What I've just pulled out, all intact, to squeeze your oranges. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Crusty that in it, and then you pour it like that. Jobs are good then. Obviously, I won't use it like, but uh, I probably, I probably never use old dug from a tip. Even if I cleaned it as much as I could, I probably still wouldn't use it, just knowing that it's from a tip. Right, uh, this little blue's just popped out. This little blue, uh, I think it's a poison. Uh, it's a plain one though. It's not. I haven't got no on it. Cork's still in it. So yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Any day. Come across an OK sauce bottle. Uh, label on front. And embossed on bottom, on back. Manson's OK sauce. Reg sauce. Excellent. Right, I've just found another uh, cherry blossom boot polish. Black. This time a smaller tin. Got a little hole inside, uh, but it's in reasonably good condition. I reckon I could clean that front up. Tetley's bottle, leads, and check this out. Gutted that it's broke. Gutted. Look at that. Gutted. It's just broke across there. Absolutely devil. Frederick Shawl. 
uh, that seems to be a C, then an Opel and Co. Gutted. Look at that. That would have been a big, thick glass bottle. What a shame. Guys, I've just come across another hectagon bottle. Uh, not to be taken. Buzzing. Really faint writing on there. But yes, I've had quite a few poisons today. I'm happy with that. Oh yes. And look at this little bottle that's popped out as well. I just noticed the label's quite cool on it. Yeah man. Four ounce marmite. Well, a little poison just popped out again. Looks like a poison day. Look at that. Excellent. I'm proper chuffed to bits. I've come across a bottle that I don't have. Brilliant. Buzzing. It's a smaller... Oh, actually, I have got it, but it's a bigger version. Um, table water... Tower. Tower table water leads. Look at that. Nice big emboss writing. An aqua blue. Buzzing. I'll definitely take that. It's a keeper. Right, guys, there you go. Uh, what's left of maybe a World War One, World War Two civilian gas mask? Uh, that's the second one I found on this tip. The first one I found on this tip was when I wasn't even doing videos. Um, it was before I started filming. But yeah, this is uh, the second one that I found on here. Uh, and just earlier on I found a respirator so I might try and clean it up, preserve it as much as I can and put it on display at some point as a relic but yeah, cool find right guys, um, not going to get too excited but that there I'm guessing is from a military gas mask um, a World War 2 one, I'm guessing so I'm going to dig it out around this area, see if I can come across what's at the other side of this. So bear with me. It's gutted to say it was a part of this gas mask. Um, it's broken half. Uh, it's that fragile and rusted. It's just broke straight in half. Uh, got all this black stuff in it. But that would have been like that. All right up. I'm on an hill, you see. There. That's a shame. There's the pipe. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. That's the pieces of the gas mask. World War Two. This is not. A civilian one. This is this were a shoot at soldiers. Right, a big old boats chemist bottle has just fallen out. Look at that. Awesome. Right, once again I found another World War II respirator. Um, this is a civilian off of a civilian gas mask. Found this bottle, and it turns out that it's Yorkshire relish. Nice, all in good condition. I'll take that just because it says Yorkshire. Right, guys, um, I'm just about done now. I'm quite satisfied with the poison bottles that I found today. I've quite found quite a few um, in that same spot where I found um, the stoneware last week. Uh, I've just been digging around that area and I've found quite a few med bottles, some plain, some not, um, but I've just kept the poison ones, I'm just taking them home. Um, I'm quite happy with the World War II uh, gas mask, even though I are taking the respirator home, I'm going to take the mask and the pipe, because um, the, the, the respirator was just, it was just knackered, so yeah, I just, I've just buried it again. I don't really like taking them home because you don't know what's inside of me. I mean, it could could be harmful to you. I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, been a successful dig. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you find the the finds that I found interesting. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.